In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can implement AdMob in your Game Maker project. So you can see that YoYo Games released new version of Google AdMob in August 18 of 2021. Let's just find out how we can implement that. And you can see we had banner ad and we have rewarded. So after the video is played, user close it and you give it the money. So without any further ado, let's begin. Hi, I'm Nagdan Sari and in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can implement new release of AdMob in your project. So create a new project, but if you do have a project you can add the extension to that and write code for that but in this case because I don't have any project I'm just creating a new project here so create new game maker language I want to call it add mode save it and in here first thing to do we should go to marketplace just log into your account after you log in your in your account just search for add mode and you can see there is a google add mode in here click on it this is an extension and you see that it's from yoyo games it should be from yoyo games add it to your account after you add add this to your account just go to game maker and in here go to my library and in my library click on refresh and after that you will have this google add mode and now you can add it to your project so add all and click import and all of the necessary thing will be added to google mobile ad let's just open them for the extension you see that the ad mob is here i want to move it to the extensions folder so that's cool for the objects i don't need these buttons this 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 four are just buttons so get rid of all of that and for this i want to get rid of this as well so there are two object object obg add move consent and object add move so i want to move these two objects to the object folder first so like this and now we can get rid of this folder google mobile ads what we need is just this extension add move extension and these two objects and this folder you can delete as well you for your project to work you just need this add move extension and these two objects so if you go to room this is the room that game maker create for us in, when we create our project so uh, what you need to do just drag and drop this google add move object to here and let's just open it and show you what is in there first of all just delete this draw event because uh, it's for debugging and you don't need that i will explain everything and you don't need the draw event so delete that go to create first you see it's checking what the os type is it will work for ios and android as well these a string are for testing so you shouldn't replace it no when you done testing and you debug everything and you your game works fine and you want to publish it after that you just replace all of this string with the ones that uh, you can get from your AdMob account so after that it says AdMob initialize and init banner ads interstitial ads and rewarded video ads with this parameters that we set in here after that we go to async event and in here at the first line it says if the event doesn't have type in it just exit this event so it just get the events that have type in it so after passing this there is a switch case and in this switch case the important ones is add mob on initialized in create event you can see we, we say add mob initialized and we should wait until our add mob is initialized and the, in this event we know that it it is initialized so in this event we can load our interstitial rewarded and banner ads 
so for example we can say add more banner add create and there is two input for our banner create so the size and if it's in bottom you should put true but if it's in the top of your game it should be false so in here and for size we can say add move banner adaptive full large leaderboard medium normal and smart so i want to choose adaptive but you can use whatever you want and for the bottom i want to say true so put it in the bottom of the screen so let me explain it one more time when the add move is initialized we can load the interstitial ad load the rewarded video and we can create our banner in here so what is the others events first event is add more banner unloaded so when you say add more banner create and you create it if it's succeeded it will go here okay it will go here and you can put whatever code you want in here i want uh, it's just for debugging so you don't need to put anything in there after that add more banner unload failed if it's failed you can again go here copy this if it's failed try to create it again after that add move interstitial unloaded when you put when you write add move interstitial load if it succeeded it will go to here so we can say show debug message interstitial add you can say interstitial has loaded i'm sure i write trunk but that's just for debugging and after that add add move interstitial on load fail we can just again if it's failed to load interstitial add we can again uh, copy interstitial load and if it's get fail in here we can say try to load it again so that's it for it for this and after that add mob interest show on fully shown after the user saw the ads you can load it again and show it again so we can say in here add mob interest show load so it will be loaded again and after that add mob interest show on show failed if user can't see the ad it will go to this event and you can load it again so maybe there is data loss or corruption in data so it will load it again with the correct data and after that there is add move interest shell on dismissed so the user dismissed the interest shell add and in this event we can say load it again and after that add move rewarded video on loaded if it's loaded we can show it to users and event after that is add mob rewarded video on load failed if it's failed to load we can try to load it again if you just uncomment this add mob rewarded load so it will try to load it again if it's failed and after that you, you can see on fully shown it's just like interest show that and in here if it's failed to show again you say to load it again and after that on dismissed you can say load it again so you can show it to use it but the important one is add move rewarded video on reward so in this event user saw the ads and you should give it the money that you promised to them so in that case you can add the money to them in this case we say show message async user earned reward so whatever reward you want to give the user for watching your ads you can put it in here because they watch it and after they watch it this event will be triggered so now that everything is set up we can run it but before we run it we should select the device that we run we want to run it on and after that just go to game option go to android and in here in architecture just select all of them so it will create for all the 
phones so after that we can close this and you can see no we can run it what it will do it will load the interstitial ad and won't show it and it will load the rewarded video ad and again it won't show it it's just loaded and after that it will create and show a banner ads that is adaptive and it's on the bottom and you can see that it is at the bottom if we say false for the bottom input of this create function let's just change this as well and that's it we can run it and now the banner will be at the top of the screen so now you can see that is it is in top of the screen so how we can show the interstitial ad and reward that we do add so for that let's just create another object in here create an object let's just call it obg main whatever you want it's just a simple object and let's just add it to a room and in here i want to create a, a step event get rid of all of these comments and maybe you want to show the interstitial or rewarded video ad when user click on a button maybe you want to put the show for interstitial ad and rewarded ad at the at when the user finished a level or wherever you want you can just say if add mode interstitial is loaded if it's loaded just go here add mode interstitial and show it and that's all you need to do to show the interstitial ad so know that is okay when it's loaded it will show it but you can put this on the button on on any event you want on any create event you want on any step event you want or wherever you want to show that interstitial or rewarded video ad as well so now let's run it and you can see it is empty and after it the interstitial ad is loaded it will show it automatically in the in here you can see that you can see some debugging messages so add mob add mob interstitial unloaded is triggered so you can see it in here after it's loaded it will show it to user so let's just close it and the banner is added added with the code that we write it before and again when you close it it try to load it again and after it's loaded again it show it so you shouldn't do that of course but this is our code so for for rewarded we do add video is just like this you can say add mode rewarded video if it's loaded go here say add mode rewarded and show and that's it for rewarded video and the difference between interstitial ad and rewarded ad is when the user watch the rewarded ad you should go to obg ad mob and in here in this event give the user the money that you promised them now let's just run it and in debug in here you can see when it says that rewarded video loaded it will show it in here so let's wait and you can see in here that rewarded video unloaded so it is loaded and here user watch some video and after they close it we add the rewarded to them so that's it because we put it in a step event it will show it again and again and again but you should put it on the button pressed or wherever you want for one time and you can see that okay before we stop the video i want to tell you some bugs about uh, game maker version 580 so 
if we go to game maker you can see i'm using version 574 and it works with admove extension this new admove extension that they released two weeks ago i think the version 580 won't work with this admove extension but if you are at the 580 version there is a fix for that if you go to admove in here to the admove extension go to android and in here just for you it's like this okay just click on here and hit enter and give it an space in here and it will work for you if the game maker version is 580 so that will work for you how did i find this bug it's just i updated my game maker to version 580 and after i add this add mobile extension it won't build so it says build failed and i tell it to the game maker community and i found the solution i found out that the version 500 74 works and 580 won't work and the one of the programmers of in yo-yo games says that yes it is a bug and i will in the next update like update 581 it will work fine so that's it for this video hope you like it please hit that subscribe button thank you bye